I need to talk to you about something very personal for a second. Selfies. Evolution tells us that over time, our bodies can adapt to our environment, which means that a million years from now, one arm might be longer than the other arm, you know, in order to accommodate better selfie angles. Well, now there's a camera that could be the solution to stop selfie arm evolution. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. Let's face it, there's only so much you can do when taking pictures of yourself by yourself. I can't tell you how I shot this one, but what if there was a camera that had the brain and flexibility to follow you independently, freeing you to do whatever you want, but keeping you in frame at all times? That what if is now a reality, thanks to this innovative device, the hover camera. The hover camera is a flying camera that's super easy to use, and it literally just lifts off your fingertip and hovers in the air. I winged it to Cupertino, California, to meet MQ Wang, the CEO and founder of Zero Zero Robotics, and the man changing the game for one-step aerial photography. What inspired you to create it? When I was a kid, I always loved robotics and flying devices. So I want to build a physical product that could change the world. That's always been a dream. What makes the hover camera different from a drone? This motion of grabbing and reaching is the most natural form of human interaction. So we were thinking, can we build a flying device that you could just sort of like reach out and then when you let go, it just hovers when it's in the air, it's actually analyzing both its front view and the downward view through two cameras and 60 frames per second. So basically it's gauging its own position and speed using computer vision. So those are our advanced artificial intelligence algorithms. So you've given the hover camera some cognitive abilities. It's a little flying robot, right? It's actually analyzing the environment and following you autonomously without you having to control it. That's a big step forward in terms of um, intelligent devices. And by big step forward, MQ means real-time face and body recognition. So it's analyzing the frame and detecting my face or from the side or from behind. And so that's the face tracking mode. There's a separate mode that is body tracking. In that case, you know, it keeps a distance, analyzing the image to try to look, recognize human shapes. To fly, the camera had to be lightweight but strong. This entire case is made out of carbon fiber, so it's actually very tough. So I can you know, press and it wouldn't just bend and break. And here are the four propellers and brushless motors. So that's the muscle, gives it a lot of thrust. The propellers are inside the frame to protect your fingers and hands. We took it outside to give it a try. So there's a single button. Just gonna press it, and when I lift off, it just stays there. Then on my phone, I'm gonna select the face tracking feature so that uh, it locks onto my face. So now it's tracking me. So if I move around, it automatically moves with me. And if I turn around and walk, it will just track me as I walk down. I can turn around and walk back into it, and it will be just pushed by me and then back. And I can grab it from the air anytime. MQ's team faced many design and robotic engineering challenges, but he never gave up on his childhood dream. You know, if it's not proven impossible, then it's still possible, so why don't we give it a shot? And because MQ gave it a shot, capturing yourself living life to the fullest is easier than ever. Okay, stop following me, please. <laughs>